Oh, hell yeah! What's up, guys? I'm Sonny, creator of Soundrise Stands. And this week, it's all about the pedal stand. There's not enough angle built into a lot of our desktop audio gear. This really brings it to the eye level that makes all of our gear usable so that you could see and access all of the features. Now, the idea for the pedal stand, I got from this. The creator of a product called 3D Waves. Link is in the description if you guys want to check it out. He's got a bunch of 3D printing machines in his home that he just churns out these really simplified products that are designed to angle your mixers, to angle your effects pedals. He really caters them around specific synthesizers, which I think is really cool. I realized, you know, this is a very useful item because a lot of people who are using effects pedals now are no longer doing it on the floor in the traditional pedal stand. They're using it as outboard effects pedals on their synthesizers on their desk. And when I saw this, I thought it's the perfect angle for an effects pedal. But if we combine them together, we can make an even wider platform to fit things like mixers, audio interfaces, synthesizers that are more like squares. You know, there's all kinds of gear now. As you guys know, there's all kinds of boutique pedals coming out every week which is why I think right now is a perfect time for something like this, where you can access those effects pedals easily without having to look up and reach over. And uh, so shout out to 3D Waves for creating a great product which inspired me. And shout out to a guy named William Johnson who inspired me to create a bigger version of the pedal stand coming out soon called the Pad Stand, which will be perfect for like the Ableton Push, MPC Studio Pro, drum machines, MIDI controllers. Guys, when I first created the Soundrise pedal stand, I wanted to make it out of EVA foam, which is the material that those heavy, dense yoga blocks are made out of. Unfortunately, EVA foam is only produced in China, and I think the reason for that is because they're polluting the hell out of the environment and getting away with it. Because we're a made in USA company and what was accessible to me, we made ours using polyethylene. Gives it enough weight, nice thickness, density, firmness for it to be worth the cost that it is. Because of COVID, polyethylene is in great shortage. And just like other companies, we are suffering from a supply chain issue right now, which is why the pedal stands and the pad stands are so delayed. I'm working as fast as I can to fulfill all the back orders. I am not missing out on a single day of not getting these guys to you if they're available to me. Oh, and we went through so many variations before it came to this shape that you see right now. You guys should see some of the first shapes that this product had. Look at how basic this is. But when I made this shape, I realized this wouldn't fit my Apollo twin, which has cables going on the left and right. And so that's why I came up with the curve. It makes it almost like form fitting for the Apollo twin. It fits it like a glove. And I think it really benefits having the volume knob accessible like that on your desk. I don't mind being completely transparent with you guys on this. I charge $29 a piece and it costs me $12.95 each right now to manufacture each pedal stand. And if you think about it, that is not a lot of profit margins at all. $12.95 a piece to manufacture, about $4.50 each to ship, plus a dollar for the box and sticker, about $1.25 for Shopify fees, and it cost me about $5.89 each to advertise these to get the people to know about Pedal Stand. Where I make a little bit more of a profit is when we sell two pairs, you know, because the shipping is still the same for two pedal stands as it is for one pedal stand because they're so lightweight. So I guess you guys could tell profit is nowhere near anywhere you want to be for any product. But to be able to put out a product and still be even slightly profitable and have people want it, to me, that was a great first step to start and then figure out how to lower manufacturing costs after that. For those of you who have stuck this long with the video, use code FOAM, F-O-A-M, at checkout on all our products. There are five of those codes available, so don't hesitate. Use it right now, today, before they're gone. Thanks for watching. Rise up.